Hey guys, it's Jillian with Fix Your Digestion, and I wanted to do a quick video for you today to talk a little bit about digestive enzymes. Now, digestive enzymes make up part of what I call the digestive fire, the digestive capacity, the body's ability to break down macronutrients, to break down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. So enzymes are produced primarily by the pancreas. The stomach produces a little bit of them in small amounts, but the, the main driver here of digestive enzyme production is the pancreas. Okay, so what do we look for when we think about do we need enzymes? All right, so signs that we might need enzymes, that we that our body might need more help in breaking down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates are things like this. Things like bloating after meals, that's a really big one. Things like cramping after meals, um, especially within one to three hours. Uh, a lot of loose stool with undigested food or mucus in there um, also can be a sign of low enzymatic output. Also, having large quantities of stool several times a day, like several large bowel movements a day, can be a sign of enzymatic insufficiency. Also, things like acne and dry, flaky skin and things like that, indigestion, all of these things make me think about enzymatic supplementation. Especially if a person is a little bit older, you know, for getting over 40 or things like that, our body's ability to make these things on its own begins to decrease as we get older, sadly enough. Okay, so that will let you know if we need to supplement with enzymes. Most people that have GI uh, complaints, I typically will recommend a 30-day supplementation of enzymes as part of a gut restoration program. So, what do we look for when we look for enzyme products? Because there's a lot out there on the market. Now, with enzymes, what you want to look for is a really broad, a, a broad enzyme product. And by broad, I mean that it contains multiple types of enzymes. So the big ones that you're looking for are protease, pepsin, amylase, lactase, and lipase. Okay, those are the big guys. Then you can have things like cellulase and hemicellulose and phytase and glucuronidase and galactase and things like that. Um, the, the more obscure ones, those are found in things like Dino, but they're really narrow acting. So you want one that is covering all of those bases. Now with enzyme products, for you vegetarians out there, you want to make sure if you're a vegetarian that you get something called a plant digestive enzyme product, okay, because sometimes uh, some of the enzymes are derived from bovine sources, you know, from pig or from cow, and so you want to just be really certain that if you're a vegetarian that you're not getting that. The product that I use is this guy right here by Designs for Health, and I know it's, I know it's upside down, so I apologize. Um, it's by Designs for Health. You typically can only get this through healthcare providers, but it is a very broad acting um, enzyme product and it has um, just plant enzymes, so no, no animal products. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, well, what if I need acid too? So how do we know if you might need acid supplementation as well? Because acid, what acid does is that breaks down our proteins. So signs that you might need acid are very similar to um, also enzymes, okay? But here's a couple things to consider. If you have a history of ulcer or if you have gastritis, you do not want to supplement with acid. You don't, okay? But signs that you might need to supplement with acid are things like bloating, a history of the use of acid-blocking drugs, okay? <laughs> I know it sounds ironic. It's not really that ironic. Um, also, if your stomach is easily upset, if you get nauseous when you take supplements, if you are not hungry in the morning when you wake up or have low appetite, or if you get full very quickly, that might be a sign that you need acid as well. So a lot of digestive enzyme formulas have acid in them, like this guy right here that I use at my clinic called Digestimes. So what this has in it is this has your full spectrum enzymes, it also has a little bit of acid in it, and then it also has a little bit of ox bile. So this is not a vegetarian formula, but it's very effective and I often use it in my gut restoration programs. So the deal with ox bile is that it helps your body emulsify and break down fat. So there's your quick video on 
enzymes, what they do, when we might need them. Um, same with acid supplementation, when to take it, when not to take it, um, and how that works. Now, dosing, very easy. One capsule with each meal, typically. All right? I hope you guys learned something. I will see you next time. Bye.